What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a custom weather on your lock screen. So this is very easy to do. Works on iOS 15. No jailbreak is required. We're going to be using the shortcut application for this and this will work on the latest iPhone right here. I have the iPhone 13 Pro. So what you want to do first is go to the App Store and you want to download the shortcuts application. So it is completely free. There it is. So install it to your device. So once you have installed the shortcut application, you guys want to go to the link down below in the description right here. So credits to the developer for creating this. But what you want to do is you want to go to the top of the page and this one's going to say wet R, so weather. And you want to scroll down right here, tap on the read more. It's going to give you some uh, features of what this weather widget's going to look like. Um, as you guys see right there and then we can scroll down all the requirements but what we want to do is click on this download button so it's going to redirect us to the shortcut application right here where we can add the shortcut and then once you guys have added the shortcut we can now go to my shortcuts go to all shortcuts and there it is so what we want to do is actually run the shortcut so we can tap on it right here it's going to ask us if we want to allow it click on allow do we want to access the shortcut folder click ok and then click on allow again and then right here click on always allow so this may pop up a couple times just click on always allow for each uh, if it does pop up again and there you guys have it so now if we go to our lock screen you guys will see we now have this little weather little widget right here which is awesome i think this looks really clean and they do provide some wallpaper so there are a couple themes you can select from if you guys click on the three little dots right here and you want to scroll down Right now we do have the dark right there, but you have the option to choose a light or the classic LS. So if you want to change it, make sure you guys tap the exact same thing as you guys see right here. So I'm going to type in a light. So make sure you have that capital L and then run the shortcut again. So if it kind of X's out, go back into the app and then run it again. So now if you go back to your lock screen, we have a new little wallpaper right here. So it's kind of like the light mode, but this is pretty awesome. But if you guys want to get your own custom wallpaper, if you want to use your own that uh, you have, what you want to do first is go to your photos um, application right here and create an album and call it whatever you want. Someone called it weather wallpaper. So I have a picture of me and my girlfriend right here. So I'm going to be using that for this. So what you do is go back into the shortcuts application, click on the three little dots right here. And then you guys want to scroll all the way down until you see where it says auto right here. So it gives you instructions on how to actually change it. So we want to change this auto and type in album. So for some reason it's blocking off the text, but we're going to type in album. And once we have typed in album, we want to scroll down again a bit until you see where it says uh, the photos application and you want to tap on recents. And then from here, you guys can select your um, album that you created. So I have the weather wallpaper right there is what the name was and then now we want to run through it so you guys click on this little play button or you can back out and run it just like this right here just by tapping on the shortcut for some reasons being a little bit iffy right now it's not changing to the wallpaper i want but it should for most of you guys if you're having issues contact the developer on twitter i'm gonna leave it down below in the description one downside about this is you actually have to run the automation every single time in the shortcut application to actually change or to get the updated weather but i believe you guys can like um, add an automation right here for the shortcut where it'll actually refresh it by itself uh, throughout the day if you guys want to do that but there you guys have it pretty cool feature one of my favorite new features on iOS 15 for this cool little shortcut right here. And make sure you guys drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. It's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.